fellow Peachy Roonies and welcome back to Glimmerbrook. Welcome to a brand new series. This is going to be my mini magic series which is meant to kind of show two parts of the game that I don't think I have played enough of which is Tiny Living and Realm of Magic, hence mini magic. Tiny magic kind of doesn't roll off the tongue as well, so mini magic it is. Now if you guys are brand new to the channel or this is the first series you're tuning into, do not worry at all because I will explain the backstory of the characters and you don't need to have watched the other stuff to enjoy the series, but if you do want to watch the other stuff it will give you a little bit of backstory so it's kind of the best of both worlds so of course if you are doing mini magic you need a mini magic home and that is what i built in last night's video or maybe the night before in a video Go ahead and check it out on my channel this week. I built this little house here. It is a house designed for witches who appreciate a little bit of tiny living. It's designed basically to be a house that will be a lovely place for two witches to live together in beautiful harmony. And we have two witches in mind for it. These are from previous series, but why don't I give you a little bit of a backstory on our two little witcheroonies here, which as you guys can also tell, are a couple. So first up, we have Nita. She was born on a farm her mother actually gave up everything she had to see if she could do it on her own and she did an amazing job now nita wants to take some of that real do it on your own spirit that courage and braveness that her mother showed she has been inspired by and she wants to give it a go as well which is why i've also started the series on zero simoleons just because apparently i like to torture myself it's kind of a little bit of a rags to riches as well which is exciting so nita is also a spellcaster in the sims she focuses primarily on potions as her Craft. She's an incredibly talented potion brewer. She's often heard to say there's nothing in the sim world that a potion cannot fix. She is aware that she's a sim. Apparently my sims are self-aware now. The end is nigh. And she also has the purveyor of potions life aspiration. Now she is going to be living with her soulmate Nanami. Nanami is a sim that has a little bit of a turbulent backstory. She was born and raised by her very elderly parents. She was very close with her brother Seiji but he moved to become a huge Hollywood star in the Del Sol Valley so she didn't see a great deal of him. However, when she was kind of almost a teen age, she went to go live with him in the Del Sol Valley and basically just try and cause as much drama as she could between him and his new wife, Summer. R.I.P. Rest her soul. Now, since then, some drama has unfolded for Nanami that we'll talk about in the series because it's going to definitely dictate how these guys interact, but we'll chat with it as we begin our series. Now, the first thing I am going to do is the last time you saw these girls, they kind of made things a little bit more official as in had their kiss for the first time. But what I think that they definitely need to do now is kind of make their relationship a little bit more official. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask them to be girlfriends because I kind of want these two to be an official couple because let's face it, they are so freaking cute. Like so freaking cute. Uh, let me show you guys the tiny house. So oh, a mailbox. A mailbox has appeared in our living room. Um, I don't think so. You need to go outside. Also bin. I have no bin. I have no money for a bin either. Awesome. So this is our teeny tiny living room. We have basically just one main living space where we will be inviting our coven. Yes, there's a whole coven. Yes, there's a load more characters planned. Yes, it's gonna be awesome. And this is the downstairs bathroom. This was originally meant to be the witching room, but I couldn't fit it all in. So the witching room is now outside. And then upstairs is the little bedroom as well. It's all adorable. It's also oh, this is the outside witchy area by the way. We've also got an area to grow our herbs and stuff there uh, and magical magical um, plants as well that Nita can use for her um, potions and spell crafting. The fact that she grew up on a farm literally makes what she wants to do in life so much easier. I think her dream would be to like open like a little apothecary at the front of the house and like sell her potions and ingredients. I think that would be her absolute dream. Her mother did something similar so similar but with um, uh, her husband's wood carvings and with her crops and stuff that she'd baked so literally she is so similar to her mother but in a more spicy spellcrafty way it is 8 p.m at night so why don't i go ahead and oh you have no money for food okay this 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 could be harder than i thought however you have food in your inventory you have a foul fish and a potato can you cook a potato man i did not think this through when i gave them literally nothing in the world did i also i've just as i said this is not play tested in any way shape or form so i don't 
don't even know if they can get into the house. That is the first challenge. Have you guys gone? What a cuteness that you guys do over here. Okay, awesome. You can't get into the house. You are. You guys are flirting in a lemon tree, which I'm not gonna lie is absolutely adorable. By the way, they also have matching uh, familiars, just because they they are that cute. I love this couple so much, and I was desperate, desperate to play it with um, another lesbian couple. So I'm really excited that we've got these guys, and we're gonna do a series with them. These guys are gonna be the main focus of the series. Why can't you get in the house? Like, what is wrong with you? No! <laughs> Why can't they get up this? This is apparently too steep. This is what I mean. I mean, a good simmer would play test. I am not a good simmer, okay? <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, I got it to work. It's so weird. It won't let you place what doors if the um walls are too small but if you make the walls big then place the door then shut the walls it works so i don't know why it doesn't just give you it in the first place why we're sleeping on a park bench babe what's going on also this is the first time i've ever had wind chimes i don't think it's windy enough to really move them around too much but i really want to hear the wind chimes okay the good news is that things inside the house seem to be working even though it's tiny and if i go on their like little overview thing they are getting the small home from living in a small house now that's the small home gain increased duration for happy inspired and focused births births Receive a household bill reduction, which is obviously going to be super important since, uh, well, you're not even meant to have this much money here. I'm going to set that back to zero, okay? That's just because I accidentally deleted something, which I'm still not actually 100% sure what it is. A little bit worrying. But the girls have gone and made themselves some dinner. They're still riding on this whole new home high right now. So tomorrow we'll get a little bit more into the house and setting up the coven because I'm going to do it as like a, uh, as a group. We'll set it up as a club. We need to think of a name for our coven as well. And also we can dig into an Nami's story a little bit more. I love this couple though. I was like so desperate to like play another couple. Just like an iconic woman couple that I just love both of them a lot and they're both very different characters and I'm kind of hyped for that. Also, I gave them both new looks. So please let me know what you think about the new looks in the comments below. I can send them up to this bed. Again, I need to make sure that they can both fit in this bed because this everything in this house is super squishy. What I was actually thinking, you know, and I don't know why I didn't do this before is I could have. No, I can't because I can't afford it. Okay, let me just change something real quick. But I don't see why this can't be a maisonette because it's just, I'm sorry. I, I know I just like brought you abruptly out of bed there, but it's just these guys here. So I don't see why this can't be like a little bit more open. I actually think that would be really adorable. I know it, it kind of messes with that, but maybe pretend more like that is like a headboard to the bed. Yeah, I really dig that. I think that's super cool. Why is this roof just here? No. But yeah, now it's like all open plan. It's like all one space, which I think is really cool because like Nami could be up there like, Nita, you come to bed. And Nita's like, okay i'm just washing my dishes and that's really freaking cute also all these guys have done so far is kiss and we're keeping it wholesome for now because uh oh you can't reach the bed can you uh, yeah i get you i feel you i see what you're saying um um yes you can get there which means you should be able to sleep in this side of the bed no, you're trying to sleep in that side. Can you sleep in this side? What is she saying's in the way there? What? What? Oh, it's the bird cage. Okay, okay, I know exactly what she's saying. See, what I actually think is this was like a big old grand scheme because need to wanted the side of the bed closest to rolling out of bed in the morning and not having to walk around it. So obviously that was her plan all along. I see you need to pretending to be all small and cute. You're actually a total bed best side hogger. Oh hi, Ali. Do you recognise yourself here? You should do. By the way, check this out. I've got a necklace on with all the faces of the moon in celebration for our witchy series. So Nita is up first this morning. You can tell she used to live on a farm because she's used to a good old early morning. I'm also going to let her use what I think is... Sorry, Nita. I'm just kind of like you're obviously having a little morning poop there and we're in here with you. But this is my favorite bath space I've ever created. It did have some candles on it. Uh, where's my candles gone? Oh, dare you. How dare you take my little candles away from me? Oh my gosh. Beautiful bath. There we go. With our little candles on it. She is ready to be like, okay, let's set this back to zero because this is kind of, it's not full of rags to riches because let's face it, Nami's family are literal millionaires, which is probably how we managed to just pick up this place out of nowhere, but there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. You have some stuff in your inventory, which is amazing because you are going to be literally just like learning from your uh, family here. We're going to go ahead and plant some of these little cherry seed trees so that we can start our little orchard going, why would you ever need that many cherry trees game? Like that's just ridiculous. You need one. Let's face it, one cherry tree. And we'll plant an apple tree as well because I want her to 
grow. What's this? A dragon fruit. I want her to grow the stuff that she needs for her spells uh, herself with her own two hands because I think that's a real cute way to do stuff. And what I've also done in this house is left lots of space for like displaying cool magical artifacts like crystals, special metals, all of that kind of thing. I want to be able to like display all of that stuff around the house and kind of make that part of our sort of witchy journey. Now, whereas Nita is very much an outdoors, grew up on a farm, like cuts and grows all of it. She's a green witch who does potions. Let's face it, she's a green witch. I kind of like feel like Nami maybe less so. One thing I've noticed about Nami is she said that she loves to cook. So she could be a bit of a kitchen witch kind of vibe, but honestly, I kind of see because she's got a little bit of a short temper. There's a bit of chaos inside of her. I mean, she literally has a knives in her inventory. I kind of see her as being like a little bit more of a chaos kind of witch. She practices a little bit more chaos magic and her life has also been kind of chaotic recently. So that to me kind of makes a lot of sense. Right now she's kind of knows a little bit of mischief magic, very little alchemy, not so much of the practical and untamed, but honestly if she decided to hone her practical a little bit more, it could help with the whole kitchen witch heath kind of witch vibes where she uses magic to help the house like look like feel and flourish, uh, feel amazing and flourish. I kind of like that kind of a vibe for her. And this isn't something I've explored a great deal. You guys say there's actually a lot of the Realm of Magic pack that I haven't explored, which I'm pretty excited to. So, ooh, she's thinking about Seji. Guys, 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 let me fill you in real quick on what turbulence has been going on in Nami's life. Oh, look at this Cody saying, well done, heard you guys are dating. Another series, vampires, strange shows, Check that one out as well. You like a more bromancy kind of series. So, Nami, Nam, 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 Namnit, Nanami. Oh my gosh, that was just the biggest brain fart ever. But Nanami went back to Japan when she found out about her dad's ill health to kind of see him in his final days before he left her forever. However, on his deathbed, he decided to reveal a little secret that has changed Nanami's life forever. The people that she thought were her parents were actually her grandparents. Yep, big shocker. And her brother, who she just thought was a big brother who acted very fatherly to her just because he loved her a lot, actually her dad. So the one who she went to live with and, you know, tortured his wife because she felt very jealous of the bond that she had very close to Seji, her father. That was one of the reasons why she was so salty this whole time. She knew there was like this special, ooh. Oh, you've discovered a new spell, Reperio. Oh, that's awesome because that's going to be so helpful to the house. Well done, Nami. Well done. Oh, now she's off to come and check in on. Oh, this is so cute. Ask and check in on what little Nita's doing. Oh my gosh, blowing kisses up the hill. Oh, I live for this kind of cuteness. This is absolutely freaking adorable. Come and look for some frogs and like collect magical stuff because I don't know. I just, I I feel like we should be doing that. A wild sage bush. Oh my gosh. Yes, this, this right here. This is like magical plan 101, which is love a bit of sage. It is so useful. And they also have the sage bundles, which they burn to like cleanse their house and stuff. So this is a good find. Well done. Also, I kind of feel like we have to take a step out of um, Yona and Will who is uh, Nita's parents and we're gonna have to fish for our dinner because we don't have any we don't have any money we have some honey though so I've got Nami doing a little bit of fishing but yeah so N uh, Nami went to Japan learned all of that kind of wanted to come and angrily confront Seiji who is a brother let me show you him real quick here he is elder global superstar pretty big deal and father yeah, so he she wanted to kind of be like, oh, could you have lied to me this whole time? What is wrong with you? I expected this of my overbearing, very strict parents. But of you, Seiji, what the hell? However, then his wife died. So we kind of have to hold in the rage temporarily, but I think it'll be fun to explore her relationship with him. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for an army. Okay, Nita babes, you might have to take over. Oh, look who's nearby. How about you guys come help too? But yeah, we will definitely get into that. I feel like at the moment, Nami hasn't told anyone because it's like, how would you even get that out? Like, oh yeah, so my brother, actually my dad. Oh look, and this is the mother. This is the mother that asked for that. No, I don't want to hang out with you, mom, because I'm mad at you right now. But how would you just turn to your recent girlfriend who, you know, has been helping you with the rage that you felt for a lot of your childhood, which you now can actually, you know, put a pin in and say why? How can you then turn to her and be like, oh yeah, 
then my brother, actually my father, my crazy parents made him give them the baby because they were too embarrassed to have their teen son have a child when he was about to be a famous actor. So instead, I just got dumped on them and had to live really lonely in Japan. And then I kind of hated that and he left me. It's heavy. It's a lot to deal with. So these guys have also come over. It was just kind of lucky that they were nearby. Uh, this is Raven. She is uh, Nita's kind of cousin. Uh, they grew up basically as sisters though. If you're wondering why she has tears in her eyes, Summer, the woman that died, uh, Seiji's wife, was her godmother. They actually weren't all that close because uh, Raven m moved away with her father pretty much straight after her own mother died. A lot of mother deaths in this apparently. So she never had much of a relationship with Summer. They were also very different sims, but that doesn't mean she still isn't sad that she died. I mean, she especially had a nice childhood with her. And then this little burned boy right here is Raven's good friend. Also Raven's victim because she is the one that had to burn him. That was the whole of the series. She did it because there was a much eviler force who was controlling him. It was low-key for his own good, but yeah, now he has a singed face and most of body. Also, his hair has never grown back since, so I think one thing that we might try and do as a little coven is some healing spells on Seojun and see if we can try and help that out a little bit. I don't think we could ever get rid of the scars, but our man loved his hair, so if we can get that back, that would be real nice. And I feel like now is a pretty good time to start our club, which is not actually going to be a club at all. It's going to be a uh, coven. So I think we'll use this crystal as, it's more of a diamond though, maybe a butterfly. Why don't they have a magic symbol? That just feels, no, we'll go for the crystal. And I need a name for my coven. So I may leave this up to you guys to decide in the comments below. But now I'm just going to call it the Tiny Witches Unite. Add our current squad of four, but our coven will expand. I just don't want to hound you guys with too many new characters all in one go. And the club activities are using the cauldron, crafting candles, meditating, casting spells, and being friendly to our fellow witches. I think that's really cute. The safest place for us to hang out is Brooks Bridge Borough. I need to change that to our little tiny witch's house. Boom. We now have a new club. So guys, let me know some good coven name ideas. Welcome to Tiny Witches. We're having a club gathering. I mean, it's my club. I'm right here. I'm in it. This is, this is my house, but okay. And I'm going to go ahead and name my little house at uh, Calm Waters. The fact that it's calm waters it's meant to be a place for nami to heal and i think a tiny cute little house with a very loving and warm person like nita is a pretty good place to heal so i'm this zero pounds thing stressed me out so i'm gonna go ahead and sell some of the things in inventory that we don't need such as old school projects awesome way to make a little bit of cash and with my 200 dollars i can purchase myself some magical plants and some uh, herbs as well both of which i feel like i'm gonna need nanami just caught a kitchen upgrade part okay so let's go ahead and plant there's mandrake. Uh, we got parsley. We got basil. We got sage. Let's go ahead and plant all of those. This is awesome because they're sheltered. They will grow in all seasons. Boom. That's what we wanted. And oh my gosh, I just go outside and Naomi's mom is just here. Why are you just here? Okay. We literally left Japan to get away from you and you've come all the way to our house. I don't think so. You lied to us our whole lives. So please just stay away. Leave me. I'm a little coven bee. Okay. So this is like the cute part of a coven I was so excited for. All of us just sit around this tiny cute little table in the house oh i feel like not needs to like struggle and nami needs for nami jeez why why did i get the couple together with the most similar names but just like chit chatting talking about magic doing magical vibe stuff this is what i was the most excited for and oh my gosh why why is one of nami and nita's plants on fire is this because i put uh do spells as yeah i'm gonna get rid of that because I, like, magical jewels would have been great, but apparently I can't ask people to do magical jewels. Are you joking me? But the plants thing is too risky because my sims love a good fire. But I can't believe my beautiful plant that I literally just planted. Literally just planted today. Mandra oh my gosh, the mandrake has survived that. Nita, uh, Willow wants to go to a circus with you. That sounds really cute. You can go to the circus with your mom. Oh my gosh, what are you doing now? What? No! This was the worst idea ever, okay? If you're gonna have a coven, don't tell them to do spells because it's just a really, really bad idea. Look how calmly she's coming to this fire as well. She just like strolls up the stairs. Like, are you even kidding me? Gosh. Also, one super yeah. weird thing about the whole summer yeah. dying thing Shimoji. is they would have had a oh, st the same well, stepmom and she, she godmother. Like some... These guys would have basically been sisters and they don't even really like each other that much, which I thought was kind of entertaining. Oh my gosh! Who keeps starting these fires? Where is this fire now? Seriously, Sojun, stop it. No, who is it? Raven, stop, stop with the fires, okay? You were just sat talking. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? 
Look, look at this. Oh my gosh, Britta. I wasn't even talking to Raven. I was talking to her evil clone. Oh my gosh, literally Raven is here. Raven is here. She's cast an evil clone version of herself. Like seriously, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I was like, oh my gosh, Nita. Nita has no idea who her mother was and is dealing with this whole, like her mother could be like, dead and gone we don't know kind of thing and she was literally about to talk to raven about it because you know sometimes the fact that they aren't close means they can talk about these things more candidly and it would have even been raven she was talking to it would have been oh my gosh stop lighting fires ah this was the worst idea i've ever had like stop this i'm gonna have to end this gathering aren't i if you start one more fire raven i swear to god where's your mother buried because i'm about to bury you next to her Please, if you ever want to start death eaters start a coven and then ask them to do spells because you basically have the opening of uh the goblet of fire when they set fire to all the tents this is literally what's happened nita had a beautiful time at the circus but she's like oh apparently the circus is back here as well and do none of you guys know the spell to put out fire there's a spell to put out fire you guys need to seriously work on your magic okay oh my gosh no no extinguish it no needs us on fire she can't die episode one we cannot die episode one okay that was way too stressful okay we got 12 dollars as an insurance payout $12. Oh, by the way, this is Sojourn's hair. I mean, there's literally none of it. We'll be casting some healing spells on you. I promise you, Sojourn. But right now, my house is on fire, so I kind of need to focus on that. I don't know whether the charcoal will make the plants stronger or not. Oh, wow. Okay, so our first coven meeting went really badly. <laughs> Really badly, it has to be said. The evil twin of Raven is just kind of stood outside our house. Uh, evil clone that she has created magically, which I'm not 100% on board with or sure about. Kind of creeped me out. And she's doing press ups. But while poor little child needs her, is down here. How? Oh my gosh, I want this space so much. She's down here getting herself a little bath, trying to wash the ash off her. Stressful first day in the house, not gonna lie. For Nami, I'm gonna get her because this is a pretty big secret to uh, burden Nita with, especially when Nita literally spent a lot of her teens managing Nami's emotions, literally making her emotional stability potions just to try and make her feel a little bit happier about her life. She doesn't wanna burden Nita with this, so instead she's posted online to see if she can find any other fellow, fellow ladies, maybe even fellow witches, who have been through something similar whilst they've lost, uh, they can't find a parent as well. I noticed that Nita walking real slow there like she was checking on what was going on like oh what's going on there but i'm gonna go ahead and make this pc locked for everyone except nami so that what she's doing on the pc stays a secret because like, if she tries to look on the pc now she can't she can't even browse the web she's completely locked out from the pc so poor little singe nita has come got to bed she's got a headache and a cough she's basically pretty sick from setting on fire which you would expect. Nisa has asked online for any other witches that are looking for a missing parent to see if she can try and find out. Because she sure as hell does not want to ask her newly figured out father, Seji, or her mother who kept this secret from her this whole time. She's going to try and do things the witchy way. Reconnect with fans the witchy way. So our first episode, Tiny Living is Tough. We had to do some rearranging, but the house is now usable. We planted some magical plants, some magical herbs. Uh, we have bees to pollinate them all. We have begun our coven, but right now it's pretty small. We are going to grow that in the next episode. And we are going to be planning some more magic in the next episode. One thing I wanted to ask you guys is, I actually think this episode is going out at at the time of year when a lot of witches celebrate something called, I don't know if I'm saying this right, in bulk. I-M-B-O-L-C, in bulk, maybe, I don't know. But it is a witchy festival. Would you guys like me using the calendar, now that I know you can schedule stuff in the calendar, would you like me to schedule this series around witchy events, like summer solstice, winter solstice, there's a Samhain, is it Samhain? Basically, kind of like the pagan Wicca calendar. Would you like me to research that so we can bring it into this series? So we can start to have coven events based around real world festivals? I think it could be fun, it could be something different, but I tend to stay away from religion uh, in my series. However, I do do Christmas, so. If you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this episode, I hope you like the house. I'm super, super excited for this. Please let me know coven name, and please let me know any other realm of magic stuff I should be exploring, and I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Nobody's like us. When people see us, they know. Uh, I feel so much for you that I don't know what to do. Yeah.